everybody welcome back to my channel so happy to see all of my Disney peaches here today and y'all I am here for my last Christmas haul um yeah these are the things that my husband gave me for Christmas and you know <laughs> you kind of you know I kind of nicknamed it my designer haul because it has a lot of our favorite designers in it and I'm just so excited to share it with everyone so I want to share all of uh, my goodies from my husband I've already put up the one of Mitzi and myself so um, if you have not seen that video I will link it down below so be sure to go watch that it was a ton of fun so if you want to see what my hubby gave me for Christmas you better come on by The first thing, y'all, that I'm going to start out with is actually something for me, see? <laughs> because, you know, even though she and I did our own um, exchange, and it, you've seen the video, it's here. Um, she gave me something on Christmas Eve that just really fit this so perfectly. And this is not something that... Um, I was even expecting so I was just stunned when I got it so let me show you that it's a small item but it's mighty uh, it comes in this beautiful beautiful container and y'all look at the top yes it's Kate Spade um, her packaging is amazing and I love it so what could be in this beautiful little box y'all <laughs> yes 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 here's all my card stuff um this is a kate spade card wallet and i absolutely love it you know i'm crazy over polka dots and i love alice i love and anything designer and so kate spade i don't have a lot of kate spade but i do have a few pieces and y'all this thing is just adorable and look at that ah! <laughs> so you have your card slots here on the front and you have them on the back and then you have this open space um, to put maybe bills in if you want to, but I just love it. Thank you, Mitzi. I was just tickled pink. Okay, so the next stuff, everything else from here on out is going to be for my husband, Brad. And so, of course, I gave him little hints to things that I wanted. And, um, but he, you know, he went and got them all, picked them out for me. So, I was real thrilled about that. Um, the next thing I want to show you, or the first thing from Brad that I want to show you is a piece that I've been wanting for a quite a while. It is um, no longer available through Loungefly or anywhere in a retailer that sells it, but you can still find them from time to time on the secondary market. And um, I already have the backpack and I wanted the wallet so badly. And y'all, here it is. Finally, I have the Millennial Pink wallet to match my gorgeous backpack and it is stunning i love it um here's the back it's got the heart logo and it's exactly just like the wallet if you look inside you see the card slots here you got a few slip pockets and then you have a zipper for coins and y'all i just love it it goes with this gorgeous backpack right here. I'm going to move my cute little candle, votive candle holder. And I'm going to put my wallet right there on display with the backpack. Look how beautiful that looks with the Millennial Pink backpack. And then this beautiful um, pink, baby pink sequins. Um, bag also I love it okay so the next thing I want to show you is something that 
you may not have noticed, but I already have on display that I got for Christmas and I just could not stand it. Y'all, do you want to see what else I got? Look back here. <gasps> ah! <laughs> you know I have the gorgeous Ariel Dooney and Burke Dream Big Princess tote. I also have the Beauty and the Beast and I have the Beauty and the Beast crossbody uh, right here also. And I always wanted to get the crossbody to go with this one as well. And y'all, it was a, it was just, it was meant to be. Um, I found this one and I showed it to my husband. I said, baby, this is it. This is like my big, my big Christmas gift. <laughs> Because it is one that I wanted so badly and I loved the placement. Um, you've got the beautiful Ariel right here and then you've got her right here on the top as well. And the vegan leather was so, it hadn't even, she obviously had it in storage. And so uh, the vegan leather is even lighter than the vegan leather on my one that I got from Disney because this sits out on display most of the time because I love it so much. And um, although I've never carried it, um, you know, just from the natural light in the in the room, and I live this room is on the back of the house, so it does not get direct sunlight. So it's just the air and the natural light that comes in. Maybe perhaps some of the lighting uh, in my display. But it has, uh, you know, has a little small patina on it. But this one is just like fresh. <laughs> Let me bring it up close so you can see it. Is this not gorgeous? I mean, honestly. Um, it's one of the prettiest prints I've ever seen. It has the Dream Big um, Princess Leather tag right here on the front. You got obviously the logo right here. Y'all, it's got flounder all over and just love the placements of, for such a small bag, I feel like I got really good placement. Here's the back. It has a small pocket on the back. Just stunning. I mean, this piece is just stunning. It has your places for your zipper. Here's the inside. Look how gorgeous the inside is. And um, it is just beautiful. The strap is still wrapped up. It has the Dooney paper. Um, Y'all, there are some fakes of this out there. Um, someone had contacted me one time quite a while ago and um, was showing me their bag. And their bag had a totally different colored interior. And I hated to point out that it could be a counterfeit and so it was a bit devastating to the person but the the actual color is a purpley um like lavender color on the inside and it has the official tags on it um i just absolutely love it and i could not wait to put it on display so now i have the bell and crossbody right here together. And I now have the gorgeous, drop dead gorgeous, Ariel uh, crossbody uh, with the tote right here. So I have both of these gorgeous pieces together and I am just so thrilled to have it. Thank you, Brad. So something else that my husband gave me that I told him that I really, really wanted was something I missed out on. Yes. You know, I'm a huge Beauty and the Beast fan. Um, it's one of my largest collections. I collect Beauty and the Beast, Toy Story, um, Star Wars, and I have a, you know, a smaller collection of Nightmare Before Christmas. Um, and that's more holiday uh, theme for me. I don't really display a lot of that during the year. Um, but when Halloween hits, uh, it comes out and stays till the next year. And, but Beauty and the Beast is one of my most favorite movies ever. Belle is my favorite princess, then Ariel, and then Rapunzel. And y'all, when I missed this, I was so devastated. And I knew it would be beautiful in my collection of Beauty and the Beast. And I was just sick that I 
missed it. But my sweet, sweet husband um, ordered it for me way before Christmas. You see the rose in the glass vase. Um, he ordered it way before Christmas for me. Um, it still has the wrap over the logo tag. It does have side pockets. I know y'all have seen these a hundred times because I'm late to the show, but y'all, I don't care. I love it. It's gold hardware. It's absolutely stunning. Y'all, let's look at the inside. I don't even know if I've looked at the inside. Oh, it's so pretty. It just has the... Uh, different um, roses in the vases. It's just a basic blue. And let's see if it has a zip pocket. It does. And so um, uh, this was definitely an exclusive. Um, I just it have on the tag what it was. Oh yeah, it was the 2021 Summer Convention and it is limited edition. Um, yeah, this is beautiful. And so, it went so fast, y'all. Let me bring them up a little bit closer for those that may not have seen it yet. <laughs> but it is so pretty and I love it. So, I'm so glad to finally add the Beast to my Beauty and the Beast collection. Okay, another thing that I got for Christmas is something that was exclusive to Amazon. And I did get it. Um, I told my husband about it. He picked it up for me. But I couldn't get it till now, until Christmas. So, I, you know, if you know me, I love the cruise line um, backpacks. I've never been on a cruise, but Brad and I are talking about going on one. And I'm really excited. So, I'll, I want to have some. I'm wearing cruise line today in my ears. But I've just always, uh, for years, even before I got into Disney, um, I've always been a nautical fan. And I love nautical pieces. I love the color combo and everything. And so, y'all, I got this. Yes, yes, yes. This was what I got for the Amazon exclusive. Um, let me take the little um, ear thing off so you can see it more clearly. And y'all, I just love it. You know, one thing that really sold me was this beautiful gold roping um, around the velvet bow. That is just detail to me, and I'm a big detail person. I absolutely love it. This gorgeous, gorgeous red logo tag says Disney Wish. Um, so that was the, the cruise boat that this is from, Loungefly. And it has, and I love that I got the placement. I got Mickey right on the front. Um, I love I got the cruise line logo. Um, I've got an anchor. I got really the things that I really, really wanted on it. So, I'm super pleased. It's got side pockets. I love the red. And I love that it's trimmed in navy blue. So, let me bring it up closer. So, look at that gorgeous red logo tag. Is that not beautiful? And now you can see the, the gorgeous roping on the velvet uh, bow. Oh, it's so pretty. It's just your standard silhouette. Um, the original small pocket on the front and the side pockets, um, navy blue uh, straps on the back, and here's what the back looks like. So pretty. Just beautiful. And it's navy on the bottom. So I absolutely love this one. I love the gold trim. Let's look on the inside. Oh! It's got, um, probably have to pull out some paper so you can see this. Um, it's kind of tight. But it has an anchor. It just has a bunch of different, uh, a wheel. It's just got a bunch of different, um, I don't even know if you can see that. It's kind of dark. It's just got a bunch of different uh, items, like nautical items. And it's so pretty. And it, what does it have back here? There's no pocket on the inside. I'm shocked. <laughs> I thought there would at least be a slip pocket, but, um, and which is fine. I mean, it's got the um, two outside pockets and the front zipper pocket. So that's really ample. And this is the original uh, silhouette. So it's so beautiful. 
and I'm so tickled to have it. So this is going in my cruise line collection. Um, and I'm just thrilled, thrilled, thrilled to have this and add it to my collection. Okay, the next thing that I want to share with you um, is another piece that my husband got me for Christmas. And he bought this month before Christmas. Right when it came out, he purchased it for me. And I flipped. I don't have very many uh, pieces from the 50th anniversary. Um, I don't want to collect everything because I... I know I won't keep it because I tend, if I lose interest in something, I will sell it. And so I want to just get things that I know will fit a collection. Um, and I'm really starting to narrow my collections down so that I don't have so many random bags. But I wanted some pieces from the 50th anniversary because it's such a big deal. And y'all, not only is this a big deal, this is a Dooney and Burke. <laughs> which I have not downsized any of my Dooney and Burke, nor do I intend to ever. But I'm gonna go ahead and unwrap it with you. Um, this is just beautiful. Oh, y'all, I love this. Oh, I feel like I got really good placement. I've got Mickey right here on the front. And then also, look, I got Mickey and Minnie just right here hugging. And I got Mickey and Minnie uh, in various places all over. The 50th anniversary, the castle, everything I would want is right here on the front. And y'all, let me take off this wrap real quick. And I'll show you all the leather, okay? Okay, y'all, here it is in all its beauty. This is the Zip Zip Satchel from Dooney and Burke. And this is the 50th anniversary print. Look at the beautiful logo tag that's on the front. There's nothing on the back except uh, just some writing. But so pretty. Um, if any of you are familiar with the Zip Zip Satchel, it's called the Zip Zip because it has two zippers on it that can be zipped. Uh, either to one side or on the front. Uh, the Zip Zip Satchel is hugely popular even out of the Disney Dooney and Burke. Just in the regular Dooney and Burke, it really is a, a really huge seller. Um, here's the back. Such pretty design. And then um, you have the black, beautiful black trim. You have feet on the bottom. Your logo tag is here on the front for Dooney and Burke. And I love what I love, love, love about the Zip Zip Satchel, or most of any of Dooney and Burke's satchels, is that they have the hardware that lets the handles fall down and not be in your way. And I absolutely love that. I wish all of uh, Dooney and Burke's satchels were like that, but some of them are not. But these are the ones that I prefer, is the ones with the handles that can lay down because of the hardware. So let's open it up and see the inside. Woo! Look at here. It's got 50th, um, or just 50, and Walt Disney World printed all over the inside. Isn't that beautiful? It has a zipper and one big slip on this side. And then it's got two slips on this side. And that is so perfect. You do have, um, you do have uh, these little tabs down here to hold if you're pulling the zipper. You have a strap in here. Um, the strap does not have uh, hardware on the side. You have to use, on a zip zip, you have to use the actual hardware um, that your handles are on to put your strap. That's kind of a thing I don't like. I wish that they would make it, um, they would make designated hardware for the strap um, because I feel like it just don't hang right on me when I do that but um, I'm still happy that it has the hardware that you can put your your strap on and y'all Dooney and Burke is so functional 
it's got a place for everything your phone your sunglasses uh your keys there's so many pockets on the inside and i just absolutely love a dooney and burke they are more expensive, but they last a lifetime if you take care of them. So, absolutely love my 50th Dooney and Burke. Thank you, Brad. Okay, so, as many of you know, because I've talked to you about it, um, I have participated in, which is part of my Christmas, um, I participated in the Dooney and Burke tent sale that they had on their website, which I'm sh I feel like this is the first time they've ever done that. Normally there's a place that you go and actually do this kind of sale, but um, it was online this year and oh, I was just thrilled. They had all kind of Disney Dooney and Burks discounted hugely discounted and i picked up two bags and it was part of my christmas let me show you the first one okay y'all ready ah! <laughs> yes yes you know i'm a huge fourth of july fan anybody that knows me I mean it's like behind Christmas my favorite holiday and y'all when I saw this pop-up it wasn't on there initially but it came on and I was like oh my gosh I gotta have it I gotta have it and I've always seen this and wanted it so badly but never did get it and so when it wasn't available anymore I was like oh I was kicking myself for not having it, but it is a tote, and it is the uh, Mickey Mer Americana tote from Dooney and Burke. I'll bring it up close. You can see the uh, Disney, I'm um, not Disney, but Dooney and Burke logo there, and then Mickey silhouette in blue with all the stars. So you've got your red, white, and blue. I love the color of trim that's on it. You have a piece that goes up the side because y'all this I didn't realize but this whole middle piece is just plain fabric there's no coating on it it is just fabric it's very soft it will get stained so I am going to probably spray this with some kind of protectant um, just for because I don't want it to get dirty and but it the strap that comes up the side is there to help keep this um, from being just floppy. And Dooney Burke is great about that. Oh, it does have vegan leather bottom. Or not vegan leather. This would be real leather from Dooney and Burke. Um, it would be coated though. But you've got your leather on the bottom. You do have the leather tabs with your feet. And here's the back. The back is the same as the front. And it has these long, awesome, long, awesome straps, which I'm sure fits me perfectly. It does. Um, you know, you do the arm test. If you can put your arm through it without your, catching your shoulders, you know it's perfect. And so it's beautiful. The inside is uh, red. It has some blue leather up here at the top. You've got a zipper and a slip in there. And then on this side, you've got two slips, just like normal. Y'all, also, I didn't say this, but the blue leather that was up at the top is your zipper. So, you can have a zip top, and it still just looked like an open tote. But for me, um, it has a braided leather strap, but, um, I mean a pull tab. But for me, I like a tote to just be open because it's never really out of my sight when I have it. Oh, it's so spacious. I absolutely love it. And the straps do have the hardware so that they lay down. I absolutely love it. I am in love with this bag. Okay, so the last bag, um, it's not the last item, but the last bag that I want to show you is still part of that tent sale. And y'all, I've had the, it's not a set, it's not a series, but 
it's kind of like the matching bag to this for years and or at least since it came out and I've always wanted to get this to go with it and so kind of like how I've always wanted something like this you know to go together I wanted this to go with this uh, another piece that I have and I finally got it y'all this is what I got it is the cat Dooney and Burke the kitty cat version I have the dog one already and y'all I'm so excited <laughs> oh I love this um this is such a pretty satchel y'all you know I'm a huge pink fan and I have kitty cats and I have dogs so I'm a huge animal lover and it is the exact same bag as my dog print except it's just the handles are black instead of uh it's a tan color so this is the doggy one that I have that I have had it's trimmed in a beautiful hot pink fuchsia pink and then you have the black one which is the cat one that I just got and y'all I was thrilled oh my gosh when I saw this I was just like I gotta have it I gotta have it so it was part of my Christmas as well um my favorite cat you know is Marie but the second favorite cat is one that you don't really see or hear a lot of, and it is Mittens from Bolt. And I love Mittens just because it, it, she is so feisty. And so look, I've got Mittens right here on the front. I do have Marie, but she's kind of low um, down here, which, you know, I mean, I would love to have had her up higher, um, but I did have her up higher up here on the very top and you got Duchess and O'Malley. I love that. Um, uh, the Cheshire Cat is right here. And, um, of course you've got Simba and, um, just a ton. Oh, and I've got Lucifer right here. So, you know, I'm happy with mine. I, I do wish Marie had been a little bit higher up and I do like Raja too, but Raja is right here on the side Kind of cut off a little bit not too bad But my favorites are Marie and Mittens and I was kind of you know, I was pleased with what I got um, It wasn't a deal breaker for me <laughs> And then here's the back. It is so pretty You got the what do you call them Siamese cats there? And there's some, there's some that I don't know their names. Of course, there's Figaro right there. I got Figaro right on the front. That's a good one. So I'm pleased with it. It does have side pockets um, on both sides. And you have these beautiful tassels that are part of your zipper pull. They are your zipper pull. Um, this is the only exception that I like for the handles for this particular, uh, one. You know, this one's just like it. Um, but these do not have hardware. It does have hardware to adjust your strap, but it does not have hardware to have your handles laid down, which with these being as short as they are, that I don't mind. Um, and I think this style is just beautiful. It just looks like a belt, you know. It's just so pretty. It's got your buckle. It's silver hardware. And the bottom does have feet. So, let's look at the inside. Again, you use your tassels. Um, that is your zipper pull. Oh, yes! It is the beautiful same interior lining as my dog one. And it's that beautiful hot pink fuchsia color. Um, it just has the same zipper and slips like, you know, all of the other Dooney and Burks have. Same setup. And y'all, and it has the strap, which I have on this one already. And I took out the middle section and that's what's so great about Dooney and Burke. You can take out the middle section and make it a shoulder strap instead of a crossbody and it's a perfect length for me. And so that's what I'll do with this one as well. But I'm so happy to have both of these. Now I have the dogs and I have the cats. And y'all, I'm going to be honest with you. I really love the overall coloring of this one better. It's a soft pink, which is my favorite color. This one is more of a kind of bubblegum pink. 
um, but they both do have that gorgeous uh, interior hot pink lining. Let me show you the front of both of these bags. There you go. They both do have that gorgeous hot pink interior. So I'm loving these bags. Absolutely loving them. And I'm so happy I have both now. So the next two items are going to be my last items from my husband. And y'all, I have been wanting a Halloween village for such a long time. Um, I love the, the pumpkin one, but y'all, you know how much I love Nightmare Before Christmas. And my hubby got me, surprised me. I had no idea it was coming. He surprised me with some pieces of my very first Halloween village and is Nightmare Before Christmas. But this is the first piece that I opened and it is the Department 56 um, Oogie Boogie Gives a Spin and it's from the Nightmare Before Christmas. This is what the box looks like. Now, let me show you the piece. So here it is. Here is Oogie Boogie with the wheel. And he's got the dice in his hand. And look at this. There's probably some styrofoam um, on here somewhere. Um, but it is so pretty. And it does come with a cord because this actually rotates and spins as it, it has power and it lights up. It is just awesome, y'all. And I'm so excited to have it part of my Department 56 Halloween uh, Village. And I may get some of the uh, other villages pieces to go with it as well. So I just want it to be a fun Halloween-y Nightmare Before Christmas village. And when I get it where it looks decent, like it's full enough, I'm going to definitely do a tour of it um, at, at the holidays. So this is going to be perfect in that. Okay, the next piece that I want to show you is a humongous. It is, oh, it's got so much glare on it. It is the Nightmare Before Christmas house. It comes with Jack and Sally. Oh my gosh, it's Department 56 as well. And you know Department 56 does an amazing job with their villages. I mean, they're known for it. And so let me take this out and show you, okay? Okay, I'm going to show you the house, y'all. It, it's not in its glory just because... It has a plug-in as well, and it lights up. Like, the lights on the inside of the house come on. Um, there's just, everything is just beautiful. I think maybe this pumpkin lights up too, but this is the uh, house, and I absolutely love it. I was just so tickled when Brad picked this up for me. Let me see if I can show you a little bit up closer. It's so dark, it's probably going to be really hard to see. Here's the gate down here, and you see the pumpkin, which I think lights up. I can't remember. Oh, uh, you have the cats on here, and I love the top. Isn't that so awesome? It is such a pretty piece for Halloween, and I'm so excited for next year. I cannot wait to get the stuff displayed. And um, like I told you, it comes with Jack and Sally. Here is Jack holding a pumpkin and then Zero by his side. And he is adorable. Here's Sally sitting like at a little grave with her little potion cup. So these are just adorable. And they look so pretty with the big house. Um, when everything's lit up, it's just beautiful. I cannot wait to get this village put together. I'm already looking at more pieces to put with it. Okay, guys, that's it. That is my entire Christmas haul from my husband, and I absolutely loved everything. Everything from my Dooney and Burks to my lounge fly to my, to my Department 56 Halloween Village. I absolutely love it all. And, of course, I love the piece from Mitzi uh, that she gave me on Christmas Eve night from Kate Spade. It was gorgeous and so y'all thank y'all so much for being here today being a part of my channel i hope that all of you had a wonderful 
wonderful Christmas holiday, a happy new year, and y'all, I got so much more to come. I got another big haul waiting to be filmed, and I've got some boxes to undo. I've just got so much more coming, so if you are excited about 2022, um, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Head over to my Instagram and follow me there. I do several things there also, like unboxings and things of that nature and uh, things that are coming out, newest, latest stuff that's coming out. So definitely follow me over there and um, I think you'll really have a good time. All of the information will be listed down below and y'all will see you the next time. Bye!